feed her and walk her and make sure she's not making messes. So do you remember the horses you used to plow with? The horses you used to farm with? What were their names? Francis, Peter, and Princess Peter and Barnes, huh? Mm -hmm. well, Barney was a weapon that had been broken. And I wrote him dead said, now don't write that weapon. I said, you're a virtue. Of course, Dad had to work on a Saturday in Barber or something. I wrote Barney. Barney wrote me. Uh-oh. When we went out of that. Going like hell to the pasture, all of a sudden the ass didn't come up, and I went ahead and <laughs> in from here. <laughs> Dad said, well, did you have a good ride? <laughs> uh, maybe that'll teach you a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> did it teach you a lesson? Mm -hmm. So what was the first car you had? Oh, I don't know. Just as soon as you could have owned one. I suppose then, 16. You know, you don't know what the car was, though? Oh, model, model A convertible. A model A convertible. Mm -hmm. That'd be a pretty fancy car. And it was. had yellow wheels. I used to get a nice one. I don't want it to okay. well, At least you ate all your salmon. Every year, my mom had to be in a hospital for them. So, you have any idea how many cars you've owned? Huh? How many cars have you owned? Well, Dad gave me a straight eight Dodge, eight cylinder. That's one. I had that Model T. And another Model T has three. I bought that Plymouth all of them. I'm six in Columbia. And uh, I had a four. That was a wonderful car. A uh, new Plymouth, $860. What, remember what year that was? Well, it was right before the war. Okay. Then when the war came on, like, like a damn fool, they called me and said, we'd like to buy your car. And of course, nobody could get gas on it at all. I thought, well, I'll do it. <coughs> and it was a bad deal. Because by the debit, I got a double from the money. Yeah. <coughs> I suppose that's five. Uh, I suppose a dozen. Okay. Yeah. So which one did you have the most fun with? Hmm? Which car did you have the most fun with? Good black top, look nice. 
Yep, they did for that age. We go to Jake Welch's. Uh, he was down there. And you know where the post is. You know where that uh, big four depot is now. If you went on a little down that road that goes past the, you, you don't go into town. You go right down that road and then you go into the what, the back the back side of our there. And uh, Jake Welch had a beer joint in the basement uh, on the top. And that's where your mom sold many a chicken. We crate them up and take them in on a Saturday and he'd buy them a hotel. And, uh, now that's your mom. Hmm? Your mom? Hmm? Used to raise chickens and take them in there. A thousand of them. Oh my gosh. Wow. Sell the roosters and stuff. Hmm. And so, anyway, Jake will have that bar down there. And, well, I suppose it's the biggest is. Hey, John. Hi, Hi. Hey. Hi. I'm just going to take you off in this line there because you don't need it anymore. Anyway. They had a great big horse patch. Great big. They had it full of ice and ice water. You know, you go in there and you want to buy a beer or anything. Three bottles for a dollar. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, but then three dollars, I mean. A dollar was a lot of money. A dollar was a lot of money back then. Oh, no. No, now it becomes fine beer. <laughs> and uh, so you get your beer for three, three bottles per dollar. And if you wanted a beer or anything, at a party or something, that's what we did. So anyway, uh, Are you cold? Hmm? Are you cold? Am I cold? Yeah. Well, I'm just comfortable. Yeah. Very comfortable. So, her living, he went to working for these big fans, you know. Well, and he got certified. And he put in a lot of studying. Then he started leaning off about the time he didn't work up there. Mm -hmm. So now he's uh, working uh, on uh, landscaping. That's, I guess he's doing real good. Really? Yeah. So, I didn't know that. Um, now your, your aunt, I'm not sure you're your, with that. That lived in the uh, assisted care living place? Uh, Georgia. Georgia. 
Aunt Georgia told a story about Sears coming down from Chicago. Aunt Georgia told a story about Sears coming down from Chicago with a bunch of white, bunch of white horses, a bunch of horses in a white carriage. Did they visit visit you guys or? They came down. And they had he had a son that lives in Lafayette for some reason or other, and he pretended he was a chicken. Who has that? Need some help there? Who? Sears. What about it? Sears of Sears and Roebuck? Yeah. Aunt Georgia said that he would come oh. down from Chicago. Yeah. Well, if you don't remember, then maybe you weren't involved. Maybe it was just Aunt Georgia was involved. Yeah. 